Mine would be, mine would have to be, he, I think he's a loose head. I don't understand loose heads and tight heads. I think they can do both. I'm sticking John Welsh in at tight head. If we've already, has it got to be another position? Yeah. I'm going, just stick him at tight head. John Welsh at tight head. Um, he's played for Scotland. He currently out of contract. Anyone watching this that is uh, looking for a player. Uh, he went down to Bath, did a little bit. And I know he's based in Newcastle. Um, but yeah, he won't mind me saying that. He is currently out of contract. Bloody good player. Um, but even better bloke off the field. This guy is he's like the life and soul of everything. You know, when you go away and like international or even with your club and you get to the hotel and you get these guys that will grab their iPad, go to the room, sit and watch a film and on their own in their room. John Welsh is a polar opposite. He's, he's similar to me. He's one of the guys, he's never in his own room. He's always in someone else's room or in the team room, causing trouble, like causing mayhem. Um, and you need people like that in a team, especially a touring team. Loves a good beer. Glasgow born and bred. Um, I know that his uh, banter's probably whittled down a bit. When he went down to Newcastle, he's like Glaswegians, like through and through, thick as they come. And uh, when he went down to Newcastle, I, I was speaking to a few guys. They're like, no, nah, he doesn't rip the piss out of too many people. So I know he had to taper it back back a bit. Um, they probably don't get his banter, but he would be the one. He'd be the one I'd definitely chuck straight in there. Well, she, like, you end up doing things. You know what it's like when you're in camp and you're so bored and you've got nothing really to do. You end up all in, all in one person's room. There's like 10 or 12 of you sat in one room together um, messing about and end up acting like, School kids, like this ridiculous game. It was funny, me, me and my wife were watching uh, Kill and Eve the other day. And I think it's Insidious, the film. Have you heard the, have you seen that film? And it's like this, this music comes across. Tiptoe by the window, through the window, by the tulips. Do, 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 do. And then it's like creepy as anything. So what we do in World Cup 2015, I think it was, World Cup, We'd all be in a room, 12 grown men, right? I started cracking up. Beth's like, why are you laughing? I had to tell her the story. We'd all go into the room. You'd cover every single bit of light up. I mean, close the curtains. Like, you go to the extent of getting blue tack. Boys, make sure you bring the blue tack to the room. Blue tack over the little peephole on the door. Rug underneath the door so the light can't get in. So it is pitch black. Christina's looking at me like, what is this bloke going on about? Right, but this is honestly what it gets to. So you make the room completely pitch black and then you send one player into the bathroom, right? Lights off, take it to another level. You can get the players to stare at a light for as long as possible before you turn the lights off. So it's harder to see. And the one player goes into the bathroom and plays this music and everyone has to hide in a place in the room. And it's like basically a game of hide and seek, but with creepy noises. And John Welsh was the master the master of coming out <laughs> and making these creepy, like <sighs> strange noises. I mean, listen, we're not allowed to get drunk during the week and do normal stuff. So you end up acting like school children and we're all hid in this room, like, like little girls screaming at like 11 o'clock at night with John Welsh crawling around the floor, making these weird noises. I mean, the stuff you get up to is very strange. And I told my wife this story and she was like, Sorry, when, when was this? When you were like 16, 17? I was like, no, 27 at the World Cup. <laughs> She's like, you fucking weirdos. But honestly, that's the sort of stuff you end up getting up to. And that's something, a game myself and Welshie developed um, at the World Cup, which one of my favourite games to play. Shows how much of a kid I am. Ridiculous, eh? Christina, do you do that with your friends? <laughs> no, we definitely do not, but I might try it next time. <laughs> 